Hey, what's up guys? It's Major Shroot here, and today I'm going to do a very simple, short video showing you how voice attack with Bicom can improve your realism, immersion, and make your comms just a little bit easier in DCS, especially if you're flying VR. Alright, just a couple of configuration options in Bicom that I thought I'd mention. I do have the comms menu disabled. So it's a little more immersive and the, the comms and you don't pop up when you're transmitting over the radio. I also have the pilot's voice in-game disabled because I don't want to speak a command and then have the pilot repeat the exact same thing I just said. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and call it to the tanker here using nothing but the radio transmit button I have set up on my throttle and my voice not using any buttons on the keyboard or not using the comms menu at all. Texaco, approaching for refuel. One, 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 Texaco, one, one, proceed to pre-contact at 15,000, at three, zero, zero. So this is where I feel like voice attack with Bicom comes in handy the most when you're in VR. When you're getting up close to the tanker and you want to do ready pre-contact, you literally just speak it. You don't have to search for a button on the keyboard, you don't have to fumble with the comms when you use, you literally just say ready pre-contact. Ready pre-contact. Contact. You're taking fuel. Like I said, very short and simple. Just wanted to show you how voice attack with Vicom can make flying in VR just a little bit easier so you're not hunting for buttons on the keyboard while you're flying.